The process to backup VMware VMs is very easy. Simply go to Backup Recover Backup, then choose VMware Engine, select the vCenter appliance that you defined earlier. If you haven't added one, use the Add New Server to add one. Hit Next. A list of VMs will load. Find the VMs that you want to onboard, select as many as you want, and then hit Next. You can then choose to either apply a backup plan to all the VMs or add them as unmanaged, which means you could apply backup plans later. In this example, I'm going to choose the VMware Direct to Onvault backup plan. And the profile will reflect the backup and recovery appliance. And in this example, the second part of the name is the name of the Onvault pool that I'm going to put my backups into. Hit OK. You can preview your backups here. You can see I've got my daily, weekly, monthly retention plans. And then hit Next. Once you've hit finished, don't leave the page until the green circles have stopped spinning. If you want to open a new tab, hit there. Once the process is complete, you'll see green ticks. At that point, you can run the wizard again or go and check out your applications here. In this example, you can see the three VMs I've onboarded have green shields to indicate that backup plans have been applied. If you have a VM with a red shield, this means that no backup plan has been applied and you can see the template and profile fields are blank. If you want to apply a backup plan, simply select the VM then select Manage Backup Plan, choose your template, choose your profile, and select Apply Backup Plan. Note while in this example the VM only has one VM DK, if the VM had multiple VM DKs, you could choose to include or exclude specific VM DKs based on these inclusion and exclusion rules. In this way, you could, for instance, just back up the boot volume of the VM and then use an agent to back up the additional volumes. Once the backup plan has begun, jobs will run according to schedule, and you can see these in Monitor Jobs. In this example, you can see that I have three running jobs for my three new VMs. Once those jobs are successful, I can use the backups created by them to either do mount, clone, or restore.